In this video we're going to learn how to multiply a fraction by an Egyptian fraction. Once we've learned how to do this it will be easy to understand how we multiply one fraction by another. So what's an Egyptian fraction? An Egyptian fraction is a fraction which has a numerator of 1. So that means there's always a 1 on top, it's just the denominator that can have different values. So we remember this from our last video that the numerator, the one on top, tells us how many parts we have and the denominator tells us how big um, how big each part is. Okay, So this is the important thing to remember here. Now here we go. If we want a fifth of a fraction, this is just an example, then if I, I could either make it so I've got a fifth the number of parts or I could make it that each part was five times smaller. Now this is the important thing. The bigger that number on the bottom, the smaller the part is. Because remember, we have a whole. This tells us how many we've got to divide it by. And if you had to share it with five times as many people, each piece would be five times smaller. So we get this. We could make the parts of the fractions five times smaller. To do this, we multiply the denominator by five. So we end up with this. If I multiply a fraction by an Egyptian fraction, the only thing that gets multiplied is the denominator. Okay, let's look at some examples. So here we've got our Egyptian fraction, here we've got a fraction. Remember the only thing we multiply is the denominator, so the top still stays as a 4 and it's 3 times 7 is 21, so it's 4 over 27. We should always check to see whether this can be simplified. In the examples I'll give you now, none of them do, so that's our answer. Let's look at this one. The only thing that's going to get multiplied is the denominator. So it's going to be 3 over 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35, so it's 3 over 35. Now this time I've just written it the other way around. It doesn't make any difference. The top's just going to be the 2. We only multiply the denominator. And 3 times 9 is 27, so there's our answer. I hope you found the video helpful. The video goes with a book that I'm writing for Year 9 Mathematics in New Zealand and you can find a link to a copy of the book um, below and that book is free for you to use and give to others. In the book you can find questions that go with this video and in the link below this video you'll be able to find answers to those questions. Stay in Infield with Winfield.